so what I was telling them earlier, the mortician that was here was in love with Julia Bulette. Oh boy. When she died, the lore is that he buried her right here. When you said that, that gave me the baddest chills all up and down my spine. Julie! No shit! No shit! There's people that don't want us to do this. I always see his shadow up here. The door always stays locked. I don't open it for anybody. This gives me a lot of pause right here. It just said Paul's name. He just said his name. Stay close to us. She's here. Would you like us to come to you? Us. They stopped you. Jesus Christ, please protect us in our journey down to the basement. We ask for your protection. Everything about this location is one huge mystery, but this is what we do know. The great fire that happened in 1875 there in Virginia City left pretty much everything burnt to pieces. So within one year, they had decided to rebuild. did the great fire destroy all of those homes and the businesses but every record up to that day including the cigar and bar Now the cigar and bar wasn't always called the cigar and bar, but what we do know is after the fire, this place had always been a mortuary. And the name that we were able to dig up was Kitzmeyer and Kenny. During that time, people had to really rely on the morgue because often it would be too cold for people to bury their dead underground. And some of those times, bodies would actually be stored in these places for months. Eventually, they had started doing in-house cremations and started burning the bodies instead of burying the bodies. Inside the basement of the cigar and bar, you can actually see where the old furnace used to be where they burn the bodies. The archway is where the bodies used to be inserted, although now it's covered up. Now this is where things get really weird. There was a man that went by the name of Paul. We don't know his last name because of all the records getting burnt, but what we do know about him is either he owned the building or he was a mortician in the morgue. Apparently, rumor has it, Paul was very in love with Julia Bulette. You guys know that last week's episode we had actually gotten some of the best evidence getting in contact with Julia Villette herself and lately we had accidentally fallen to a little bit of a rabbit hole trying to figure out what had actually happened to her. So here comes the part that blew our minds. First and foremost, I'm gonna give you guys all of the details on Julia Bulette's murder because we have found ourselves on this crazy journey to figure out exactly what had happened to her. Now, Julia Bulette was murdered on D Street in the comfort of her own home, which is just down and to the left of the building we will be in tonight. And if you guys do remember in last week's video, she told us herself that her body was buried nearby, but I'll get to that in a minute. Now, according to the woman that had found her, her house was almost in perfect order, except for a few things that had been thrown on the floor and a few valuables of hers that had gone missing. When they had finally found Julia Bulette's body, she was found on her bed laying on her side with a bludgeon wound to her head and a pillowcase laying over it. There were signs of a struggle as if she had tried to fight off her attacker, but she was inevitably strangled by that very same pillowcase. Under the plum trees in the California sun Sand underneath our feet, 
Now it does go further into detail, but unfortunately it is too gruesome for me to talk about here. And I do apologize for those who feel it is a bit too much. However, it is very important to the story and to the context of the video. Now after she was murdered by an unknown number of people, a man by the name of John Mullane was quickly convicted and hanged for that crime. The mortician that was here was in love with Julia Bulette. When she died, the lore is that he buried her right here. Now this is where we fall into speculation of rumor. Supposedly, Julia Bulette, after her death, was taken up into the hills to be buried separately because the women of Virginia City did not want a lady of the night buried amongst the rest of them. Now according to stories, her body was never ever taken there. What was buried there was a casket full of rocks. Supposedly, a man named Paul that worked at this morgue was also very much in love with Julia Bulette and supposedly distraught over her death, he decided to keep her body for himself, ship them off into the mountains with a casket full of rocks, and bury her directly beneath the floor in the very same morgue that we are in tonight. Can anyone stop the noise that's inside my head? And to make it worse, after all these rumors, they did have a little bit of testing done where they drilled down into the floor and you can actually see the outline on the concrete of where they thought Julia's body to be buried. And they actually did come up with fragments of clothing. Now we literally just found this out for ourselves this very night. Is Julia buried beneath our feet in the floor of this 200 year old morgue? We are about to find out. As you already have seen, we've been walking all over this building and you're probably wondering why. Now we will get to that here in a second after we introduce all four of us. My name is Ryan. My name is Wyatt. My name is Jason. And my name is River. Now we are here because we would like to have a conversation with whoever is in here and whoever does want to have a talk with us. We're just trying to find out your story and see why you're still here. So far, we've already gotten a couple of things from you guys as we were setting our stuff up. And you may be also wondering what these two are holding in their hands. And what we are doing is we are documenting. We're trying to find out who you are and trying to find out, like I said, why you're here. I just saw the EMF right behind Jason go off. Oh, yeah. That was a footstep. I don't know who was standing in front of me and I was just kind of having a small conversation while the guys were over here. This object right here, I'd like to explain it a little bit more so that you do understand what I was trying to do. So unfortunately, I can't see you with my eyes. None of us can. Unless you have enough energy and you manifest enough to show us. But this object right here will detect your movement. And what it does as soon as it detects your movement is it starts to play music. And that's how, how it lets us know that you're here. So if you can, please try this again for me. I just want to show them. Because I was pointing that way. I heard that. You heard did. heard that. Is that you over there? Make that go off if you could. We shut everything off tonight. Everything Did you just hear that? Yes. As soon as I asked. You just held that real quick. Can you hold on to it more? Please. I'm over here trying to see if I can speak with whoever was over here. I don't know if it's you or somebody else is here. And I apologize. <laughs> that was a good hold. Thank you so much. That wasn't bad. Thank you. If you don't mind. I'm going to try and continue to see if I can speak with whoever was over here. Please feel free to come over here as well and have a conversation with us. Okay. So I explained this object. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. When it first turns on, it does a calibration. It starts to go. After that, it has nothing to do with us, and we'll see what happens. Give it one second, please. Don't stand in front, if you can. Did you, you heard that? Okay. 
Okay. Please, if you are here, what I was doing was trying to have a conversation with you and just seeing if you are here and you'd like to speak with me. Can you please show up in front of this object again? Use your energy. If you need some energy, I just saw it with my own. Thank you. Hi. It's good to see that you're here and you're all right with, hopefully, speaking with us. What we are here for is to try and find out what's your story. We want to know what is going on and maybe you haven't been able to have a conversation with somebody in, in quite a while. So we are here to do just that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Holy crap. Now guys, you guys may be wondering why Jason is here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this right now. First things first, Nick couldn't make it. It is his mom's birthday, happy birthday mom. And also, this actually ties in. Whoa. Whoa. That was right there on the stairs. I that was right there. Really yeah. I really don't like my back being The perfect. fact that that door's open is is freaking me out right now. Oh, Jason, can you explain? They walked up the stairs and in front of that object right there. Hi. Thank you so much. We hear you. When's the last time Michelle has had that door open? That door hasn't been open for four years, okay? Because that door... Everything is shut off. We unplug everything in this place. Minus this little fridge behind the bar. That's yeah, it. That's hardwired in, and you might hear a buzz behind it, but everything else has been unplugged. Everything's shut off. Anyways, real quick, the reason why Jason is here is because he is also tied into this. You guys do remember last episode, we were actually able to get in contact with Julia Bulet. Now, we just got some very insane information. Well, the history here is it's possible that the funeral director that was here, that was in love with Julia, actually never let her body go into the hills. And this history says she may be buried here. Like legit right under the concrete. And um, there's, there's a, and I'm sure we'll show you later, there is an actual concrete stamp that you can almost see. Oh my God. And it's like, could it be true? Could we reach Julia at a different level tonight? <laughs> oh my God. There's and, a, actually, a, and actually get the proof that Virginia City has been trying to find out if Julia is really buried in the hills, or did we just find out that she is buried under the concrete down in the basement? We have some centuries old secrets that we're trying to dig up. We're, we're trying to uncover this, guys, and like you guys have seen in a couple of the past episodes, is that we've tried to come in contact, and finally last week, not only did the device tell us it was Julia, but also explained how Julia had died and said that her body is nearby. And, here we are. and yeah. this is nearby. <laughs> oh my God, what was that? Okay, I don't know what's going on. It is. <laughs> We know, we understand that there are more than just Julia here. We know there are a couple of people here. Yes. That, that definitely, I feel like, is a confirmation right there. Oh, yes. Real quick. Cool. Did that not just sound like something got thrown? The stairs. It keeps sounding like the stairs. I also awesome. want to let you know that we, we are going to acknowledge each and every one of you. Whoever wants to speak with us, even the children and the women that are downstairs. You are all welcome to come and have a conversation. We do not want to just focus on one person here because you all deserve to tell your story and we're here. We might be a little on edge too, guys, because the owner, Michelle, is very sensitive. She can, she can hear these people talking to her. And she said recently that a new male spirit had showed up here. 
and that he knew that we were coming here specifically and was not happy at all about it. He doesn't he was, want us here. He doesn't like us. They said he was very upset and like he's almost like something's being hidden. Which is very odd. He might be mistaking us for other people because we're never, there's never a time when we're disrespectful to any of the spirits that we speak to. Maybe, maybe he's just unsure. His name supposedly is Alan. I hope you Alan. don't mind. I was just going to say we're going to make our way over there. Yeah. Is this you, Alan? We need confirmation. Whoa. Did anybody hear the knocking? We're just here to have a conversation and find out. Oh my god, somebody is throwing shit, dude. That's over and over again. Why are you here? Hi. Is this you? We're gonna make our way in here, if that's okay. Would you like to... That was a lot. That was a lot. Well, there's, there's four rooms. Nobody's there, but there is a story about a lady who passed away in like 2012 that was there. And she says that spirit stays up there. And Michelle's gonna restore all those rooms. Look at that stuff. It's... We're going into this room right now. That's why there is multiple spirits here right now. The one who is over there near the music, can you please come over this way? Okay, let's give this a shot. Okay. Step back, step back. We're nowhere close enough, dude. Can you do that again to confirm that we're not close enough? Thank you. Thank you. Were you just waiting for us to come in here? I feel like you literally were. I really feel like you were waiting for us. Hi. Whoa, dude. dude. It's like that thing's gonna explode. That's literally what I'm, I'm feeling right now. I, I legit feel like it's about to explode. If you can, can you please knock that chalk off of that cue ball or, or move the ball? We just want to see if you can physically do something. What the f*** is that? Yeah, I heard it. Dude, whatever that was was a huge ass thump yeah. before that went off. If you're still here, show us a sign please. <laughs> nice. We have this object that you can use your words. If you'd like to use some words to talk to us, Wyatt over there, he has this object. If you go up to that object, use your energy. You can use words, you can say sentences. There's somebody over there. Oh my god, the music keeps going off. We hear you over there. <laughs> Literally, they want attention too, though. Look. Kids. So why did you say kid? Why did you say kids? Attention. What are you thinking? Well, kids normally wouldn't be up in this area. True. Okay? But there was that one kid that Michelle... Too big. He was the only kid that came up here. He's a little blonde. The attic. The attic. That's upstairs. upstairs. That's where we heard that loud ass thump. Yeah. Holy smokes. I I think my arms are I so <laughs> look at this, dude. Look at my arms. Maybe he lives upstairs. And that that's what he was trying to tell us. But he was the only kid that would come in this room. Yeah. Apparently. Is that you here? Distract. Distract. Is that you here? Distract. Distract. What is that? Was that above? There is 100% nobody whatsoever above us besides a woman who passed away. And we're going to get to that. 
This is a huge building. Huge, huge. building. One jingle, dude. Are you over there? Can you walk in front of that music? Would you like us to come to you? It's us. It's us. More than, <laughs> one. More than one. Whoa. They want us to go. Where's all this noise coming from? Yeah. Well, well the, there was a loud slide. It was sound like something slid and then River looked over here because it sounded like either the chair was getting messed with. I'm guilty. I'm a guilty. Guilty of what? Making all the noises? We're gonna come over there. Whoever's standing in front of the music, we're gonna go towards you. Please tell me this. What'd she say? Sarah? Sarah. Sarah is Michelle's daughter, and she's extremely sensitive. No! She's a completely sensitive person, and when she's here, Michelle's the first one that said there was 11 spirits in her home, and now we're here in her bar, and her daughter Sarah, for them to say Sarah right now, confirms to me that they know. They know. I don't think anyone should be left alone in this building. We're coming to you, whoever's been standing in front of the music. We just want to know. They don't want us to leave that area. No, they don't. But unfortunately, we gotta we gotta move on. Please come over here with us. Oh, <gasps> wait. You are literally reading my mind. The one that doesn't like us is below. Her body Remember, there's a woman who's trying to tell that spirit that does not down. like us to come. Afraid. Wait, hold on. I know what it is. I know what it is. Paul doesn't want us to know that Julia Bulette is buried down below here. Freaking kneecaps are shaking. Is that it? Is River coming close? Does Paul not want us to know? Terrible. Terrible. That's terrible news. Battery dead. They're using my energy. Let's get a new battery in there. We're, we're trying to continue talking with the person who said Sarah's name. We also want to know if Julia is here. All of these questions I hope maybe somebody can help us with. There was somebody standing here. Did you go away? Did you leave? Somebody at the stairs down there? Can you give us a sign? Did you hear that? I did. That was right there. That was Lion. running. That was right there. We're gonna go down there, okay? But we have to be very careful. Yeah. Watch each other's backs. We have to watch each other. Yeah. We need to, we need to go down the other way. Okay, we're gonna make our way downstairs. Feel free to come along with us if you are up here. We do not want any harm. Please, we're not here to harm you. Thank you. Let's be, let's be careful. Let's do this. Lord Jesus Christ, please protect us in our journey down to the basement. We ask for your protection. We ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You guys ready? Okay, we're going to be making our way downstairs. We don't mean any harm to you. And I hope you don't mean any harm to us. We're coming down. We mean no harm. We're here to pay you respect. We'd just like to communicate with you tonight and hear what you have to say. We're here to listen to you. I have a question. The music is still going on upstairs. Is there a reason why people get very nauseous and very anxious when they walk up these stairs? Is this where your guys' traffic is? If so, I've got this ball for any kids who wants to play. I'm going to go ahead and set it at the top of these stairs.
Did you just hear that? It was going. And then it continued. Footstep. Footstep. Literally right in front of me. Did you guys just hear that? Did you guys just hear that? I am very terrified. No, we're protected. By the way, guys, I mean, we are in the mood. He wants to get married right now. <laughs> I Look at this thing. I am an ordained minister. If you want to get married, I'm <laughs> oh, no. No. Yes, oh, no. Yes, no. The yes, odds. No. Uh, the odds. You right, better right. marry me in life right, <laughs> right now. All right, Why man. get up there? You're getting married <laughs> right now. <laughs> Jay would kill me. Eliminate. Eliminate. <laughs> who? Eliminate who and why? Jokes aside, this I is apologize. Still going off. This is still going off. I just want to let you know that I'm going to be putting this ball upstairs. I'm going to make my way upstairs. I'm going to accompany you. Michelle talked about this. Somebody pushed downstairs, so no one can be alone on the stairs. Threatening. Threatening. Guys, just hold on. We'll hold on to each other. The device just said threatening. While we were walking up here, Jason just said, remember, there's somebody who will push us down these stairs. Please use your energy. That's how you can let us know that you're making traffic up and down these stairs. Any children? Two bit? We know you're here too. We're gonna make our way back down. Ooh. You okay? What's up? We're here. We're here. Did you just hear that weird thing? The weird... I did. It was down there. I just heard you. I heard you walk up to me and I heard you speak. You guys are doing that, right? Shh. What, what the f*** is that above? It's, it's constant. Somebody's up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They were like, you oh, saw me. You saw me. Remember Juliet? She said the same thing at the clamper hall. Juliet, yeah. Juliet, you last Body. <gasps> oh, oh, Julia, you oh, Her body oh, is oh, under oh, the concrete. Okay. I'm sorry for yelling, but dude, are we getting close to finding Julia Bulette? Confirmation, please. Guys, I am getting, whoa, anxious because I feel like we're getting close. I think we go down and we stand where Julia's body Julie could, potentially, could be. potentially be and we ask questions there and see what happens. Let's go. That's right above. Somebody's walking up there, guys. Wait, hold on. What'd you catch? I heard a bottle Wait, hold on. <gasps> What'd you catch? I heard a bottle tink. There's a but the, the music, the music is going off constantly. There's some... Who can help me? We can. We can help you. We can do our best. Guys, 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 guys. Can you follow us down here, please, and join us? Did you hear that creep up there? Let's go towards Julia Bouillette's. We're coming. Can you help? Yes, we can help. Guys, we're in the actual mortuary where... Guys? Bodies were burnt here. Bodies were cleaned. This is where it happened. Show the wall. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because this this is actually where they would burn the bodies right there. The music box hasn't stopped. Everything's going off. The EMF everywhere. meter continues to go off. Literally all of it. There's no electricity around here, guys. I'm just gonna let you know that. I think the only electricity that I know of is right up there. <laughs> Under there. <laughs> Paul. I don't know if you're still here. I think you are. We know that you were in love with Julia, and we know about this story that we're trying to find out if it's Where true else? right now. It's been so many years. You don't have to keep it a secret anymore. 
You can tell us all the truth. Oh, I heard that. I heard that. We're just simply asking if, if there's something here right now, if Julie is below Soon. us. Soon. Soon. If somebody's... Show. show. Soon you'll show. Soon you'll show us where she is. Please do. Paul, we are here to only communicate with you. That's all we're here to do. And Julia, if you're here, we'd like to hear what you have to say. We have taken such a journey. We just want to talk with you. We just want to have some kind of confirmation if you're here or not. Ryan's going to put down one of his instruments now where you can touch. Toy. Toy. There we go. There's a kid. There's a ball on the stairs. They could think this is a toy. Right to the right of me is where they took the photo of this kid. Of the little blonde kid. She You're kidding. She said two bit is blonde. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Bite. Hold on. Move. Don't please, bite. Please. please don't bite us. Hold on. I'm going to remove this object here, but I'm going to replace it with something that makes a louder noise. So what you're going to want to do is come over here and join us if you can, please. If you walk close to these metal antennas, these rods, it starts to make that noise and it starts to blink. Use your energy. Please show us that you are here. Hey. 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 Are you okay? I just legit heard something right in this tub. In the body tub? In no, the body like tub. it legit sounded like someone was sitting in there. Frustration. Frustration. It legit sounded like someone was moving or getting moved or it sounded like someone was in there. Is that, is that that? That's not me. That's not you. That's not us. Am I dead? Am yes, I you dead? are dead. That was quick. Frustration. Did you hear that? Please let go. Okay. Children's spirits. Children's spirits. That's, you that's don't what say. Hi, Tubit. Is this you? Any of the other children that are down here? You said toy. You're frustrated. It is an honor to meet all of you. Did you? I did. Something came over there. It was like. Shoo, shoo. Any of the other children that are down here? You said toy. You're frustrated. It is an honor to meet all of you. Did you? I did. It was just over know, there. Guys, I feel just so uncomfortable over here. Very, very uncomfortable. It's like somebody's standing in here. How about this? If there is a child, I'm going to count to three, and I'd like you to go and make that ring. I just want to know, personally, if you can hear us talking to you. One. Two. Three. three. Draining. The energy might be draining right now. That was darn close. <laughs> yeah, that was very close. Darn close. Why are they calling you 2-Bit? My bones. My bones. What's underneath? That's what we don't know. Is there a child here right now? Maybe the kid that has blonde hair. Please give us your name. Charles. Charles. Literally. Boy? Is that the boy with the blonde hair? Your name's Charles. Can you confirm right there? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my That was cool. That was really cool. <laughs> Why do they call you 2-Bit? Charles? Thank you for giving us your name. Somebody earlier had brought up Sarah. Have you spoken to Sarah? She's the daughter of the owner here. I'm starting to get the weird, like a weird feeling that I don't really want to be down here anymore. I'm feeling the same thing. You are? Yeah. Yeah. I think we should definitely make our I way think, back think... towards the stairs at least and or upstairs. We're sitting right here and the device is my bones. My bones. It's not very descriptive. I get it. It's not exact, but come on. <laughs> I know. Come on. We've been talking to Julia. I'm getting this feeling. What the f was that? That's the ladder behind you. I'm getting this feeling. What the f was that? That's the ladder behind you. 
I'm getting this feeling Paul runs the show here. And I feel like these spirits are like very limited on what they're able to say, especially Julia. If she is down here, he enclosed her into something of his domain, so he passes. This is still his area. I feel like she's trapped and really can't do much. We need to be very respectful right now, guys. Mm -hmm. This is unbelievable history of this town, Virginia City. That, that to me is confirmation that we just have to be very respectful of this right now. Are you trying to confirm right now? We mean no disrespect. We only came here in search of some answers and to communicate with you. We're just trying to close an open book. We're trying to finish the story. Because so many people, they don't know what happened to Julia. And we know that you were in love with her. He's in love with her. It's, I think it's Paul we're talking to. Whoever we were speaking to here, whoever we are speaking to, we just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for giving us what information that you could give us. For now, we're going to let you be. We're going to go towards the stairs where the constant traffic happens. Watching. Watching. And then we're going to make our way upstairs as well. But we wanted to say once again, thank you. What? Somebody is listening to us. Yes. And watching us. Let's make our way to the stairs. Let's see how that goes. See if we could get a little bit more information. But for now, been pretty good. So let's go to the stairs. We're gonna spend a little bit of time right here. Find out why our chests feel so heavy here. What's your name? Billy. 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 Hi, Billy. Hope you're having fun tonight. We're here to just to communicate with you and see you hit this ball and knock it down the stairs for us. You can either do it while we're here, or you can do it when we leave. Is that you? Not me. There's like steps going on up here. See? That's still going on. That's what I'm saying. Okay, See? go that way because whatever that is... It is walking around. I'm gonna try this. I've got one more thing here. It's good old-fashioned flashlight. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to turn it on when I set it down somewhere. What you need to do is build enough energy to where you can complete the circuit in this flashlight to turn it on and turn it off. Now, if you could prove that you are here this would be a good way to do it. This would be a good way to let us know that you hear us. Paul. Oh. Paul. Voice. Paul. It just said Paul's oh, no. name. He just said his name. Oh my God. You were recording? Yep. Were you not? Mine cut out. I am. Yes. Paul, you just told us your name. You just confirmed that you are here. Wow. No way. Yes, way. That's How do you amazing. make this up? That is amazing. You, don't. you cannot make this up. No. no, we were downstairs trying to have him confirm that he was there talking to us. Somebody just told us his name. It might have been Wait. him. Secrets. <gasps> no Secrets. way, guys, guys. He said soon. Earlier. Guys, we're getting closer. He said soon earlier. Yes. Somebody just came up here and said, "Hey." It was Paul, and he has some secrets. Damn. Damn. Guys, Julia could oh. potentially be down underground. We are going to try very hard to find out if she is or not. And we might actually have to hire some people to, to really see if somebody's there. I get so excited right now. <laughs> it's important. It, it, this has nothing to do with it being for us mm -hmm. whatsoever. It has nothing to do. You see me. You see me. Paul is here. 
Oh my god, it chills like running up my uh -huh. entire body. Right Guys, now. this has to do with history, closing a book. Everybody here in Virginia City would appreciate actually knowing what happened to her and where she is. Oh, that was loud as shit. Yeah, that was. And I think somebody was just bending around that corner. That was Paul. She said that's where she sees Paul. And that door's always closed. He's at the top! Of the that's why she kept it closed, right? The door is That's why closed. the door stays closed. She sees Paul at the top of the stairs all the time. Paul, you got secrets. We know you do. With all due respect, it might be time to tell us those secrets. It's been years. Nobody's going to be mad at you. That's what we just heard. We heard somebody moving. Guys, we are on to something. Whether we solve it tonight or we don't solve it tonight, whatever we're catching right now is what we came here for. We're getting close. This journey is not done. No. No. It's not. Paul, we're trying to get you to answer us and, and show us that you can hear us, anybody. Not just Paul. We want you to turn that light on for us, please. You've literally shown us every other way that you are here and that you can hear us. And if you could turn the flashlight on, that will literally tell us that you understand what we are saying. We're asking for one last bit of confirmation that we spoke with you and others tonight. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, came. Sarah came back. Somebody really knows Sarah. Maybe Sarah only knows. Flash. 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 Flash that, please. We're just asking for one bit more confirmation. We'd like to say thank you for letting us be here tonight. We'd love to have one more bit of confirmation. Of course. Of course. Of course. What? So you do hear us. Thank you so much for communicating with us tonight. Did you just... Did you just catch that? I cut the whole I did thing. not touch the light. I cut the whole thing. Whoever can hear me right now, my voice, we all think, each and every one of you, and with your permission, we'd like to come back sometime. But for now, thank you. Julie. Julie! Julie. No shit! No shit! That's a Julie. joke. That has to be a joke. This is not real. No, this is... This is the second time we got Julie on this. Oh my god. Guys, if you want us to come back, we are really trying to get all the evidence we can about Julia Violet. Her real name is Julie, okay? Or she went by Julie. If you guys do want us to come back, get this to 15,000 likes, we'll come right back and we're gonna continue to get the proof that we've literally been searching for in Virginia City for such a long time. With that being said, we hope you guys did enjoy this episode and we will see you guys next week. Peace.